Hi, this is Dr. Ray Tahiri. This is a short lecture on how to solve a system of equations and variables through matrix methods by using calculator as well as Excel. This would be beneficial for my APSI 180 static students as well as anyone who uh, end up using a system of equations and variables to find uh, some unknown values. Of course, there is an illumination method which would be very tedious and often mistakes is inevitable. That's why when we talk about uh, using a matrix uh, method, it would be much safer. Let me start by explaining a system of equations and variables here. So as you can see in this uh, general form of equations and variables, I have uh, x1, x2 up to xn, n variables, and I have n equations. Uh, the objective is to finding x1, x2, x3, and so on. I would like to define each of them. So these values a11, a12, a1n, and a21, a22, and so on. This, these values call coefficient values. x1, x2, x3, xn. It's called uh, the variable, or in total the variables. And finally, I have b1, b2, bn, and these are the constant values. Now, I would like to uh, represent a matrix form of what we have. So what I did, I break these variables and separate them from each other. And for each coefficient, I write a column matrix. The result of this is nothing but what I have here. Let's study that. So for the first x1 multiply by a11 plus x2 multiplied by a12 plus so on xn multiplied by a1 x is equal to b1 and that's the first equation for the next one is x1 a21 plus x2 222 plus so on xn a2n is equal to b2 and you can see these are the equations that I already have here let's go a, a further step and I define these three matrices matrix A is the matrix of coefficients Matrix B is the variable matrix, and matrix C is my constant matrix. What if I multiply A by X? So, by the way, uh, we know that for the multiplication of matrices, so what we need is we should have the number of the column of the first one should be equal to the number of the rows of the second one. So, here we have N by N, and here we have N by 1. So, this criterion is satisfied. But what happens if I multiply A by X? Okay, will be this uh, row multiplied by this column. So it's basically a11 multiplied by x1 plus a12 multiplied by x2 plus a1n multiplied by xn, which is this right here. And if I equal it to b, then I have form already. This the first equation. So in a sense. A multiplied by X is equal to B. Now, uh, I hope you're familiar with inverse of a matrix. So inverse of a matrix, and specifically we talk about a square uh, matrices, uh, non-square matrices that also have inverse, but it's more uh, complex. It's a matrix that if you multiply a matrix by, by its inverse, the result would be identity matrix, which represents almost one when we talk about algebra. So in this case, I can multiply to both sides of this equation A inverse. So A inverse multiplied by A is identity matrix. And identity matrix multiplied by any matrix is going to be that matrix. And then we get this golden formula of X, which is uh, the variable matrix is equal to inverse of my coefficient matrix multiplied by the constant matrix. So this is the fundamental of how you can use your calculator to solve this. And I would like to have an example here. And let me just get my calculator here. Here. So uh, let me bring it this side here. Okay. So this is uh, uh, TI-83 uh, plus as a silver edition, but I'm sure that other uh, kind of Texas instrument uh, calculators are exactly pretty much the same. So first, I have to determine those matrices. 
I know that my matrix A is 2, 3, 4, minus 5, and then the next row are these. I have my constant uh, matrix here. So all I do, I put them in my calculator. Let's turn it on. Uh, usually, you go to second matrix. And in this particular case, I want to edit. I go to edit. So I have here a 4 by 4 matrix. So I put 4 by 4. And then the first one is 2 then 3, then 4, then minus 5 is already here, then I have 6, 7, minus 8, 9, so 6, 7, minus 8, 9, the next one is 10, 11, 12, 13, and 14, 15, 16, and 17, and by the way, it's kind of interesting the way I design it, uh, you have the consecutive numbers and at, at the end also you get the round uh, answers okay so this is my matrix A let's go back and for matrix B edit I use matrix B here so B it's obviously four rows and one column four multiplied by one and is my constant values here minus 6, 96, 312, and 416. There we go. And the next thing I have to do simply, so this is added here. So I uh, simply go and here. I select my first matrix, which is A. I go here, go to the matrix, second matrix. Uh, sorry, let me go back here. So, second matrix. And I choose first matrix, A. I want the inverse of A. I use simply inverse. And I multiply the inverse by matrix B. So second function and matrix B. So this is exactly what I had. The inverse of the coefficient matrix multiplied by the constant. And the answer of this, ironically, would be the answer of my uh, system of equations and variables. X, in this case W, is equal to 3. X is 5. Y is 7. And Z is 11. Now, if you want to go a little more faster, uh, there is another function in uh, your calculator. It's called RREF, which stands for Reduce Raw Ashland Form. Uh, I don't explain about the term, but it, exactly what it does is this. Now, let me go to the matrix again, and I form another matrix here. I want to go to Edit, and I have matrix 3. So I make this matrix, remember that my coefficient matrix was 4 by 4. I have 4 equations, 4 variables. This one, I make it 4, number of the equations, and 5, 1 plus number of the equations. And in this case, I start to put all the values. First is 2, 3, 4, minus 5. And here, for the last one, I put the value of minus 6, which is my constant, minus 6. The next one is going to be 6, 7, minus 8, 9, and 96. Next one is going to be 10, 11, 12, 13, and 312. And last one is 14, 15, 16, 17, and 416. So in a sense, I form a matrix that one part of that is this coefficient matrix, and the other part is the constant so this is my matrix C and then let me go here uh, matrix let me go here and now what I do I go back to the matrix and um, oh, I'll go to the matrix I go to the matrix 
and I go to math so you have a group of functions that you can uh, use to do the math with matrix I go to bottom one here it's called R R E F press that and then you just simply go and add matrix C right here and you close parenthesis if you press enter that would be interesting because what you get is this side it would be a matrix which is this 4 by 4 is identity matrix top and bottoms are 0 and the last uh, column is exactly the answers that you find before so that is another use and you can see how simply if you have 10 by 10 uh, equations almost literally is impossible to do by hand then you form a 10 uh, by 11 matrix you just enter 100 numbers in one side and then the last one is 11 or, or sorry 10 so you put 110 numbers in this matrix and as a result you will be able to solve it by pressing a few buttons so this is uh, how to use calculator but also uh, and this is the answer actually we have it here but also you can use uh, Excel and I did that here let me just bring this one a little this side here okay so uh, what I did simply was I form again my matrix 4 by 4 the coefficient matrix and here is my constant matrix and then what I did I use a function it's called M inverse first this is 4 by 4 I select here 4 by 4 I put equal to M inverse right here and I select this matrix I close the parentheses usually when you do a normal Excel you press enter but here because you are in um, matrix mode you press control shift enter and you have the inverse matrix and then a the next step you multiply the inverse matrix by this matrix and that would be right here so you select these ones here equal to emult means multiplication of matrices so you want to emult this matrix by this matrix shift control oh something is not working here let's see what's happening uh -huh. Yeah, I I have to do here what a mistake it is. I should have multiplied by this. So this it's not I, it should be H. And this is actually H as well. So and this would be correct. Let me just go and rewrite it, actually it would be easier. So let me just delete this and I write here equal to a mult the most of this matrix multiplied by this matrix previously I choose the other one and then I put control uh, shift enter and you can see you get the correct answer here if you want to do it in one shot then in that case uh, you use um, let me just go back here you use and go here use something is called emult okay multiplication of inverse of my matrix here this matrix here about this this matrix here so multiplication of the inverse of this matrix multiply by this matrix and the answer would have been what I actually calculated there so I hope this helps uh, mostly if you are during the exam and using calculator is allowed is the best way to do it is uh, simply you uh, use the calculator but in other cases you can use uh, perhaps some spreadsheet like Microsoft Excel I hope this uh, was a helpful lecture 
Thank you very much.